Hi guys, maga ako nakatulog last night and medyo naka-recharge ako ngayon. So, meron pa kami second camp today, 1 p.m. And si Christian naman magte-train muna siya before the camp, katulad ng ginawa namin kahapon. So, um, lahat ng gagawin niya guys just a review ng ginawa namin kahapon, pero hindi ko siya masasamaan kasi I still have to work on the certificates na ibibigay namin sa mga bata mamaya. And uh, I'm gonna let him take over the vlog. Tingnan natin kung kaya niya. So, lahat ng explanations siya magbibigay sa inyo kung bakit yun yung ginagawa niya, kung para sa yung ginagawa niya. So, Tignan natin kung nasa si Christian ngayon. Chan! Ikaw muna mag-take over ng vlog. Kaya mo ba? Ha? Huh? May thought. <laughs> Explain mo sa akin na maayos yung mga drills na ginagawa mo tsaka kung para sana. Ha? Huh? Naku, patay tayo dito mo. Walang, wala kayong makukuha ang explanation. Yan, yeah, meron. <laughs> De, joke lang. Kayang-kaya ni Christian yan. So, guys, bibigay ko na yung camera kay Christian and uh, simula ngayon siya muna yung mag-take over ng vlog hanggang sa mamaya ang camp. O, tiyan o. Okay, ka muna. <laughs> <laughs> So ayun, nandito na kami sa court, uh, mag-start na kami ng training. Si Coach Mark, nagbigay naman na siya sa akin ng instructions kung ano yung kailangan kong gawin kasi kailangan-kailangan lang siyang gawin ngayon ng umaga. Si Josh naman, kaya hindi siya makasabay kasi hindi niya dala yung sapatos niya. Uh, pero magsushooting siya, 200 mid shots, sila ni Paolo. Tapos si Jolo naman, kaya hindi siya nakasama ngayon dito sa amin dahil Meron siyang tryout sa school. Um, we wish him luck. Tapos, ang kasama ko ngayon, si Coach Patrick at saka si Coach Rene. Yung mag-video and sila na rin yung mag-assist sa akin, yung mag-remind sa akin ng mga details. Yeah, yun, start na tayo.
sa buwan sa ensayo sa pinigawan ni Coach Mav. Uh, matatapos sa rin sila, Josh. Um, uwi muna kami, tapos mag-ready kami para sa training camp. See you guys. Coach! Hello, kapag sa kayo? Hello, kapag sa pag vlog ni Christian? Okay lang. Ha? Ano nangyari? <laughs> Natapos ba niya? Natapos ko. So, kamusta yung pag vlog ni Christian? Kung okay or hindi, comment niyo sa baba. Tapos papaalam natin sa kanya para malaman niya kung ano pinagagawa niya. <laughs> Pero na-explain niya na maayos. Oo. Oh. Sigurado ka? Sige, papanoorin ko yan ha. Sige. Mag-ready na ako, magka-camp na tayo. Alright, you got Ah! Yeah! Amen! I want Yes! 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 Pero, this is such a great experience for us. I know. Yes! <laughs> Listen, again, there's gonna be a day two. Everything that you've learned yesterday, I want you to be able to apply it today. If you started slow yesterday, I want you to start strong today. You get me? I told you, I'm focusing on your attitude. I'm focusing on your mentality. I don't care how good you are, how fast you are, how strong you are. What I do care is what kind of effort and sacrifices can you give for your dreams. So again, I don't want to miss this opportunity to get better. Trabawuhin mo, and we'll help you do your part. Let's pray. Lord, uh, thank you. This is our day two. We were successful yesterday. Salamat po sa lahat. Please guide us in the new forms injuries. And yun lang po, after this one, please help these kids do what they have to do. Yun lang po, Lord. Ingatan nyo, nyo po kami and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys. Again, please, focus. Just three stations. Just three hours. Focus. You get me? And after this, let's have fun. Okay, after this, we're friends. But when we train, when we train, you make sure you're ready to give what you have to give. Go to your first station, let's go, let's start. Everything that you did will be useless, will not be supported with the proper mindset, with the proper attitude. Programs are useless. Without proper attitude, approach, dun sa training na ginagawa nyo, everything will be useless. Make sure you're listening. Now I'm gonna ask you one thing. What does perfect training mean to you? Come on, answer. Anyone? What does perfect training mean to you? No one knows? Any idea? Always like this. Coach Mav, natapos ko yung training. And I've met a lot of players like this. Coach Mav, natapos ko yung training, halos wala akong mali. Coach Mav, natapos ko yung training, natapos ko yung bawat drill, yung bawat program, ng isa lang mali ko, and I'm really proud of myself. But you know what perfect training means? You're gonna make lots of mistakes. The more mistakes you did, the more perfect it is. You cannot be afraid to make mistakes. You know, pag dinagdagan mo yung speed, alam mo magkakamali ka eh. And that's the point of training. You go to a level wherein you're uncomfortable. Nagkakaintindihan ba tayo? You don't train for you to be comfortable. You train for you to be uncomfortable. Every time you train, make sure you reach that point. You reach that limit and then go beyond it. I want you to make more mistakes. Because more mistakes means that you're uncomfortable. And if you want continuous improvement, it means continuous discomfort. Nagkakaintigyan mo tayo. Don't be too proud, Coach Mav, or to any coaches. Don't be too proud, I, I finished the training, the workout without any mistakes. It means that you are in a level where you're comfortable, walang improvement dun sa level na yun. I want you to go out of there, discover yourself. Try to experiment new things. Make mistakes. And that's when improvement comes. Don't you ever be afraid to make mistakes. Nagkakaitindihan ba tayo? Yes, sir. I want more mistakes. I want you to go all out. Last two stations, I want you to go all out. Take down notes. One minute. When you go back, I want you to have a different kind of mindset. Approach in training. 
go all out. Last two stations, let's go. All right, Doli Tingo, listen. The best opportunities that you will have are the ones that you create when there is none. You cannot be out there patiently waiting for an opportunity to be given to you. You cannot wait for a coach to give you the opportunity to play. Because opportunities will never be given to you. You should earn every opportunity by doing these kinds of work every single day. You can leave me with a small space. Then after a year, pag labas kudo sa space na yon, nag improve ako. It's because I don't care with what I have. Kung nasaan man ako, the situation umuulan ba o maaro ba? It doesn't matter. It's what you do with the situation that matters. Coach Mav, hindi ako makatrain sa bahay lang ako. Wala available ako. So what? Go inside your house, pick up the ball, and do something. Coach Mav, umuulan. Paano ako magtitrain? It just depends on what kind of work. What kind of work ethic, what kind of approach, what kind of mentality, what kind of attitude do you have? And every excuse is invalid. I cannot let you make an excuse. Coach Ma, wala akong bola. Coach Ma, wala akong sapatos. Coach, you can always do something with what you have. Because it's, it's not about what you have. I don't care if mayaman ka, mahirap ka, maliit ka, malaki. It's not about what you have. It's about what you do with what you have. If you want to achieve your dreams, you can never make an excuse. If you want to achieve your dreams, go and work every single day and make your own opportunity. That's the only way. You cannot wait for me to give the opportunity to you. You cannot wait for your coach to give the opportunity to you. You cannot wait for your brother, for your father, for your parents to give the opportunity to you. Go out there and create your own. If you cannot create your own, you will never have what you want. Because most of the time, it's only you and you. If it's only you and you and, and, and you cannot create, then most of the time, hindi ka magi improve. Then most of the time, you're wasting your time. Most of the time. Most of the time. Nagkakaintindihan ba tayo? If I have to give you something, it's just the skills. If I have to give you something, it should be the mentality and the attitude. When you work, make sure you're trying to improve. And go beyond what you can do. Go beyond what you can do. Because you can always do something. You can always do something. <laughs> it's just kung talagang gusto mo. Kung talagang gusto mo. Kasi kung hindi, it's gonna be one day that you will quit. I want you to go all out. Last station. Last station. Take it seriously. And then lahat ng ginawa natin, last station, three stations today, three stations yesterday, I want you to be able to remember it and go train by yourself tomorrow. And so on. Hanggang sa makita tayo ulit. Nagkakaintindihan ba tayo? Yes, go! One last station. One last. Focus. One minute, and then let's go back to work. Let's go. Guys, before I end this one, makinig ka mabuti. For as long as you need someone, a coach, a mentor, or for as long as you need someone to teach you, you will not make it. You have to be able to remind yourself every single day. Every single day. Kung aasa ka pa sa iba, may mga oras na hindi ka magi improve Because maybe you're gonna wait for that opportunity or for that someone, paano kung wala siya? You have to be able to stand on your own. You have to be able to do it without anyone. You have to be able to do it on your own. For as long as I'm here, for as long as there are people around you who are trying to help you, and for as long as umaasa ka pa sa kanila, you will not make it. 
The day that you will make it is the day na wala ka ng ibang inaasahan kundi sarili mo. And I want that day to start now. Nagkakaintindihan ba tayo? I'm not trying to give you a program. Programs are useless. What I'm trying to give you is the will, the attitude, the mentality that could push you starting now. Hanggang sa makita tayo ulit. Who knows? Baka hindi tayo makita but for as long as you have the mentality and attitude, you will improve. And that's what I want you to understand. It's not about how good you are, how tall you are, how small you are, how good you are, how talented you are. You cannot tell me that you're good, you're an MVP. That doesn't define success. It's the work that you have to put in every single day until you get there. Nagkakaintindihan ba tayo? Yes, Now, before I end this one, I want to give you a computation. Let's say you train three hours a day with your coach. Three hours a day for five days, 15 hours. Now you have four week, you have four weeks a month. That's gonna be 60 hours a month. 60 hours a month, you have 720 hours a month. Sa nagpunta yung 660 hours. If you're only gonna train with your coach three hours a day, you're only improving 8% of your time. 8% of your time. Nasa na yung 92%. 92% goes to you. 92% of your time, you are alone without anyone teaching you. So if you're only gonna improve 8% of your time, do you think you can make it? No. You have to be able to calculate your time. You only have 24 hours a day. If you cannot calculate your time, if you cannot work on that time to be able to make it, then most probably you won't. So I'm telling you, slowly increase that 8%. Maybe after a week, after a month, 10% of your time, you train ka na. 2% from you. 80% from your team training from school. 2% na dagdagan ka ng 2%. Then after a month, na dagdagan ka ulit ng 2%. After a month, na dagdagan ka ulit ng 2%. That's how you do it. You do it slowly. For as long as you improve 1% at a time, you're moving forward. You're gonna make it. Nagkakaintindihan ba tayo? Yes, coach. All I'm asking from you, is to have that proper work ethic every time you train, every time you go to school, when you go home. You have to be able to know what you have to do. And that day starts today. Tomorrow, your real training will start. You're gonna be all alone. You have to know what to do. But for now, good job. Let's pray. Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, thank you for the two days. Thank you for these people around me right now. Thank you for their willingness to learn. Lord, again, please forgive us for the sins that we've committed. Kahit naman alam namin mali yung ginagawa namin, sometimes we still do it. And you're still there, hindi nyo kami iniiwan. And for that, we thank you. Lord, please always guide us every day hanggang sa makita kami ulit. And please guide these kids para malaman nila kung anong mga effort sacrifices na kailangan nila gawin. Yun lang po, Lord. Please bless us every day. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Guys, good job. I hope to see you again. A better you. Good job.